Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. In this video, we're going to put together the Paris Flyer Carousel Kit by Solarbotics. Solarbotics makes a bunch of these great um, laser cut, self-assemble electronics kits. And um, this is one of the more recent ones added to the collection. They've also got some great marble track ones that are a lot of fun to make. They all take about one to two hours to put together. So in the kit, we'll have our bag of laser cut parts. And we'll have our bag of electronics components. The first step to putting it together is we want to put together our circuit board. So the, the Paris Flyer carousel um, kit It'll be a little solar powered, um, solar powered blimp that's going to to drive itself around um, around the Eiffel Tower periodically. And the great thing about how these kits are made is um, the solar panel charges up a capacitor, and then um, when it has enough energy to turn on the motor to drive the fan, it'll turn on the motor to drive the fan for a minute, and then um, and then stop and store up more energy again. So it works in all different light levels. When I was when I was assembling this kit, I found that the instructions included with Solarbotics were really complete and didn't leave with me with a lot of questions when when in, when assembling it about what I needed to do or what I needed to go in next. Something to be aware of when assembling the electronics control board is that a lot of the components look really similar. So be certain read through the guide carefully to make sure you're putting the correct correct components in the correct place so everything works as you'd expect it to when you're all done. Now, one of the things that I found quite difficult with these wires was it was really difficult to strip the insulation off the edge. The wire is really small and the insulation is pretty stubborn. So what I'd really recommend doing to, to get the wire exposed on the ends is just use the soldering iron and melt the insulation back just the minimum amount necessary and I, I, you'll find that that's much easier to do than trying to strip it off with wire cutters. This next part of the electronics, I installed the fan into the control system. One thing that I didn't find clear in the instructions was that later on you'll need either the fan removed or the wire is not connected yet to properly install this. So put the fan blades on the minimum pressure necessary to get them assembled. Now I moved on to the tower. Solarbotics recommends that you use white glue or wood glue to assemble the tower and any other glued on parts in the kit. I used white glue, it worked great. Something to be sure of is to try to get the whole tower assembled before your glue drives. I mean, this gives you quite a bit of time to assemble it, but you might need to wiggle pieces around to get the next piece installed. So it's not a good, not a good one to walk away from half glued together. Once the top of the tower was installed, the, the next feature was just the decorative rails around the edge of the tower. In the video, I use a hobby knife to remove all the little bits inside the, uh, inside the pieces, but the knife really wasn't necessary to build the kit. You could do that with a pin or anything else to poke, poke out the um, the little bits inside. 
The next part of the project, I put together the housing for the electronics. As I mentioned earlier, the wires in the kit are pretty small and delicate, so be careful when you're placing the placing the solar panels um, into position that the, the wires remain intact during that process. I had one come loose on me that I needed to re-solder before securing it. The next part here is the counterbalance arms for the blimp. I found these pretty difficult to install. Um, they snap into position, there's a lot of friction, so just stick with it with a lot of wiggling and um, careful pressure, and it'll, it'll squeeze into place. There's no need for glue on that part. Here I um, struggle a little bit to install the pivot point for the for the arm to balance on. It's uh, you screw the screw in and then push it into the slot and that holds it in place. And it, I was just having problems getting that getting that in, so I left it for the time being and came back to it and got a little bit later. Here I move on to assembling the blimp. I think it's technically a dirigible, though. The next step is to route the wires across the top of the arm and the top of the housing and then position the motor in place. Like I said earlier, the instructions didn't really make clear that I would need to press the motor through and route the wires through the blimp. And that was really hard to do with the fan on, so I had to remove the motor to put it in place and then re-solder the wires. So what I'd recommend is leaving the fan blade off until, until the motor's in position or putting it on really lightly so you can test your test your electronics and then putting on on the fan once it's installed in the blimp. And that wraps up our quick build video for the Solarbotics Paris Flyer Carousel Kit. Thanks for watching. <laughs>